Hi everyone and welcome back to DeFi Daily, the channel where every day we talk about DeFi going from different analysis, tutorials and news. Today we are going to talk about Abra Cadabra Money, that is probably the most growing platform in the whole DeFi ecosystem and is introducing a new kind of stablecoin, the meme uh, token. We will discuss how does it work, why it is a really interesting platform and what are the advantages that you can take using this kind of tool. Before to start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel. All you have to do is just to press the subscribe button and please leave me also a thumbs up to help it spread the word, reach more people and grow the channel. I would really appreciate if you do it. It's just a small action, but really means a lot to me. Remember also that all the contents in this channel are just for educational purpose and nothing has to be intended as a financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that could be great, but remember always do your own research before. Said so, we are ready to start and I would like to start with the homepage of Abracadabra Money. As you can see here, that allows users to produce magic internet money. Magic internet money means uh, meme. Meme is the stable coin produced by the platform of Abracadabra Money. And what is really interesting is that to produce this kind of stable coin, the platform is using, as you can see here, uh, interest bearing crypto assets. It means that uh, it is uh, giving you the opportunity to take uh, your LP tokens, your assets that you have uh, that are already producing some yield, some interest for you through some other platform, let's say, for example, Yearn Finance. You are taking from Yearn Finance the LP tokens, you are depositing them into the Abra Cadabra Money platform and they are giving to you some meme tokens. Meme tokens, the value of each meme tokens is always equal or at least should be always equal to one dollar. But that's not the only interesting feature because as we will see in a moment, the whole platform is built and is introducing some new really nice, let's say, shortcut to help you produce even more yield and we will discover it in a moment. Before going in deep into the platform, I would like to show you also the uh, from DeFi Lama the total value locked inside the platform because as you can see from here, the Abracadabra money, even if it's a quite new platform, it is already in the 15th position of the whole DeFi ecosystem. This is a, a, a cross a blockchain platform that right now is growing like crazy. As you can see here, it only in the last week has grown by 25%. And if you compare this kind of number with all the platforms that are um, bigger than Abra Kadabra Money, you can easily understand that it is right now the most growing platform in the whole DeFi ecosystem. The same we can uh, understand it from the chart of Abra Kadabra. Um, as you can see here from this breakdown, Abra Kadabra Money is a platform that is uh, cross-chain. Right now it is mainly on Ethereum, but it also works on Avalanche, Arbitrum and Phantom. And as you can see here, the trend is literally skyrocketing. Starting from the beginning of September, the platform has been growing uh, constantly into the total value locked. Right now we have been around uh, the 4 billion uh, total value locked and we will see in the next future how this value will uh, move. But everything is pointing for a new uh, increase in the total value lock. So that's really a great moment for this kind of platform. But let's have a look on how does it work. The first feature that you have into Abracadabra Money is the borrow feature. Here on this page, you can borrow some meme against your uh, liquidity, against your assets. The assets that are supported right now are the ones that you are seeing here. So the first step is that you have to, you need to have the asset that you have chose to uh, provide uh, the liquidity in order to uh, borrow some meme. In order to choose what kind of asset to uh, supply to the platform, you have to look at the interest rate plus the liquidation fee. 
the interest rate is the interest that you are paying in order to uh, borrow some meme. The liquidation fee is the fee that you will pay in case your position will be liquidated. So pay really close attention to the amount of meme that you are borrowing against your collateral. Because in case of liquidation, as you can see here, the liquidation fee could be even really high. In this case, could be even 12.5%. So it not, you will not only lose your position, so you are not only losing some money, but you are losing money on other lost money, because you will have also to add the 12.5% percent of loss. Let's say for example that uh, we decided to provide some liquidity, in this case uh, we can say uh, this one. In this case we are talking about uh, the year vault USDC, so first of all in order to have this kind of token you need to go to Earn Finance, provide uh, some USDC inside the vault of your finance. Once you have deposited your uh, tokens inside the Yearn finance platform, you will receive uh, some uh, Yearn vault USDC. The first step that you have to follow in order to borrow some meme is to write here in this field the amount of uh, uh, Yearn uh, Vault uh, USDC uh, tokens that you want to deposit. The second step is to choose the amount of meme that you want to borrow against your uh, collateral. The maximum amount, as you can see here, where it's written maximum collateral ratio is 90%. So if we have deposited uh, 10 uh, Yearn Vault USDC, we will allow to uh, borrow a maximum of nine uh, meme, but we can choose uh, even a safer amount. It could be 25, 50, 70. In order to choose how much meme you should borrow, you have to first of all have a look to the liquidation fee, because higher is the liquidation fee, obviously higher also would be the cost in case you put this number wrong. The second step is checking the uh, volatility of your provided asset. More is stable the asset that you have provided, higher could be also the uh, amount of meme that you can uh, borrow against your collateral. Remember also always that the crypto market is really volatile and unpredictable. And even if something could look like quite secure, even something should be almost impossible, in the crypto market nothing is certain. It means that it's better to choose a lower collateral ratio. In this case, let's say that the year in Vault USDC is quite stable because it's based on USDC that should not change during the time, even choosing a 70% of uh, uh, of collateral ratio could be quite safe. In any case, choose accordingly to your profile risk. But always remember that higher is your collateral ratio, higher is the probability to be liquidated. And no matter what, if it's something seems quite impossible or an event, a, a rare event because everything in the, crypto, in the crypto space is unfortunately possible. Once you have done that, you will see that uh, the field uh, borrow meme will be uh, auto-completed. So the system will uh, complete this, uh, uh, this field with the uh, related amount uh, that you have chosen. Here on, uh, on the right, you can find also some metrics about your position, starting the collateral you have already deposited, the value of your collateral, your position APY, that is a 6.47, because remember that this number is retrieved from year finance in this case, or for in any other case from the yield that your asset is already uh, collecting from the platform that uh, is coming from. In this case, we are talking about a uh, year vault USDC, so uh, the yield is coming from your finance. 
and here you can check the amount that is provided right now. Uh, down here you can also find the meme borrow, so the amount of meme that you have borrowed and the liquidation price. Always keep an, keep an eye on this number, in this case it's zero because we haven't provided any assets, so we don't have any open position, but in the moment when you have an open position you will see uh, this number right now, right here. Uh, in this case we can see the predicted liquidation price here where we were choosing the uh, amount of collateral ratio in order to borrow MIM. Uh, what is really nice and interesting by uh, the Abracadabra Money is that they have introduced this option here, Change Leverage. If you click on it, as you can see, uh, it is opening a disclaimer that is saying you are about to open a leverage position. Yes, because through Abracadabra Money, you can open a leverage position on your assets that are already uh, earning some yields into another platform. In this case, we are talking about Earn Finance. But let's ha have a look on how does it work. And as you can see, you can also click here on documentation to have a look to the complete overview on how does it work. And this is something that I highly recommend you to do in order and before using the platform because more clear is the mechanism and dynamics and how does this platform uh, work, easier is for you is to predict the risk and the taking the best decision uh, for your position. But let's have a look on how does it work. So, as you can see here, where it's written choose your loops, it is, uh, you can find different number, two, three, up to 10x. Remember that it doesn't mean that you are investing with a leverage of 10x. It only means that the, the system is taking the meme that you have just borrowed and it is uh, investing them again with the same loop that you have done previously in order to obtain them. So it is taking your meme, investing them into your uh, finance, obtaining uh, uh, the Yearn Vault USDC, putting them into Abracadabra Money in order to ask and to borrow some new meme, always with the same collateral ratio that you have already chosen into uh, the, previous, the first uh, step. And it is continuity, it is reiterating this kind of system in loop uh, for the number that you have chosen here. Let's say that is 10, it only means that this mechanism, this loop will be repeated 10 times. The real uh, leverage, so uh, the real leverage that you will obtain in this case, you can find it here for a 10x, for 10 loops, you will uh, have a position with a real leverage or at least an expected leverage because remember, we are talking about expected leverage because the amount could change uh, accordingly to uh, the swap tolerance, so the, uh, the slippage. If moment by moment the single APY, the single metric can change accordingly to the condition of the market. So uh, before uh, completing the action the system is not able to give you an exact amount on, on how you uh, will be your position. That's the reason why you are seeing here expected meme amount, expected APY, expected leverage and so on. Uh, what is interesting that from uh, an APY position of 6.47 you will obtain a position with an, ex an expected APY of almost 21%. So there is a, a big difference and all of this is just investing in, on an asset like, the, like in this case USDC that is not so risky. It has a really low vola volatility and it is just liquidity. So instead of keeping your USDC just on your wallet waiting for the right moment to invest them, you can use this kind of platform like first of all Yearn Finance, then come to Abracadabra Money and activate this kind of loop.
Remember always to have a look to uh, the liquidation, uh, uh, to the expected liquidation price, because as I said before, this number, it is the number that will trigger the liquidation. And in that moment, you will lose 100% of your position. Another impo important metric that you have to keep an eye on is the interest rate, because this is the amount of meme that you will have to pay in order to keep open this uh, uh, position. In this case, you are gonna uh, go to pay 0.8, but that's quite interesting in any case, because at the same time, you are earning at almost 21% on stable coins. So that's a, a, a quite a good arbitrage because paying 0.8, you will obtain almost 20%, almost for free. It is a, a free of risk, this kind of dynamic. The answer is obviously not. Remember that uh, each platform could be always uh, hacked. You have no guarantee that nothing will happen on uh, Yearn Finance and also Abracadabra Money. The more smart cross contract you are uh, using and you are building a layer on top and another layer, in this case we have on, to on, uh, on, ba on the base, the uh, your finance platform but on top of that you are using abracadabra money so you are doubling your risk to uh, be hacked and to lose the money i'm not saying that is probable i'm not saying that it will happen tomorrow i'm just saying keep an eye on it because it is absolutely possible and in case it is happening you are at risk to lose all of your money Understood how does it work, this kind of uh, loop and how you can borrow money against your uh, position, let's have a look also to some other uh, feature. Uh, starting from the farming feature, that is this one, the way it works is really easy. All you have to do is to, first of all, retrieve some LP tokens with Spell and Ethereum in the first case, or meme plus Ethereum in the second case. In order to obtain them, you have to click on this link where it's written SLP and it will open the Sushi app. Here you will have to provide the liquidity and once you have provided the liquidity, you will receive in exchange some LP tokens that you can uh, deposit here. In this moment, you will start to earn, uh, to earn some uh, spell. If you want to know how much is paying right now this feature, you can find it down here. As you can see right now, ETH spell is paying you around 88%, so a quite good amount. Uh, there are not uh, enough information about the meme Ethereum and the meme 3 pool on Curve for the only reason that, as you can see here, the liquidity right now is so low that we don't have a, actually a, an active ROI. But in the future, I suppose that it will be updated, so you will always have an opportunity to keep an eye on how much each pool is paying to you. What about the other uh, feature that you can find here? I will start with stake that is a really easy to understand feature. And here you can deposit your spell tokens. The spell tokens are the token of the Abracadabra. Uh, it is a governance token and uh, uh, you can earn it from the farming feature or buying it from the market. You can deposit it and you will start earning some uh, reward. Here it is the reward that uh, it is uh, actually uh, estimated. About the other feature, they are just some short, uh, shortcuts. On a meme free pool, it is just a shortcut that will bring you to Cure Finance, where you can deposit uh, some meme, uh, uh, USDC, USDT, or whatever you are interested in, in order to obtain the LP tokens that you can deposit on Abracadabra Money in order to borrow some other meme and uh, starting to earn with the loop that we have described it a moment ago. The same is from the swap feature that is uh, uh, supported again by Cure Finance and here you can exchange uh, and swap uh, 
the tokens that you are interested in uh, in order to obtain what you need. The last feature is the bridge. We can click on it and here you can bridge your uh, tokens, your coins from one blockchain to another. Let's say that you are right now you have on your wallet on Ethereum your tokens and coin and you want to use on the other side Phantom because as you have seen here there are also some good opportunity on Phantom. I will not uh, check it with you right now but because the, the mechanism is always the same. About Wonderland money on uh, the Avalanche blockchain as you can see here we have changed from Ethereum to Avalanche. You can use your W Mimo that is just the wrapped uh, version of your Mimo tokens that you have received in the moment we when you have staked your time tokens into the Wonderland money uh, platform and you can invest them here in order to even leverage uh, the earnings from the Wonderland money platform. So as you can understand the mechanism is cross blockchain and the dynamics behind each feature are always the same. You have uh, the borrow feature where you can borrow some meme and use the loop feature in order to uh, leverage your uh, earnings. You can use the farming uh, feature in order to provide some LP tokens in order to start earning some spell and you have the staking feature that is just where you can stake your spell in order to uh, maximize your rewards. Guys, that's all for Abracadabra Money. As always, if you have any kind of question, just write me in uh, the section below and I will be more than happy to answer to you. A final thought about Abracadabra Money. I really like what they are doing because they are creating some feature that is really easy to use but is empowering so much your yield. It is something that is not quite common to see on many other platforms. Most of them are just focusing on the farming feature and providing the maximum uh, APY. On this way the uh, Abracadabra money is creating literally some magic because it's helping you to doubling or even more your earning just creating this kind of loop with a relative low risk. Remember that yes it is uh, the risk is lower than using some uh, exotic uh, uh, APY and DeFi platforms like for example Polybeta that I have ma uh, made a video on it and I will leave you also the link in the right corner here. But anyway some risk still remains so always keep an eye and the most important thing here when you are using Abracadabra money is to keep an eye on to the liquidation uh, threshold because if you will be liquidated you will have, have to pay a quite high liquidation fee. Say so guys Enjoy and uh, maximize your gains because it is absolutely possible, but always be aware of the risk. If you like this kind of content, please leave me also a big thumbs up in order to help me reach more people and grow the channel. And I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye guys.